Vinyl community, how's everybody doing? This is a vinyl update from the record show that I went to on Saturday. These are some amazing finds. Um, I got them all for a dollar each, pretty much. There's some exceptions, and um, it was actually a crazy score. I think this person who I bought these off were just, you know, they enjoyed the music. They didn't really care about the value, so, um, you know, it was, it was crazy, and they were all in sleeves and all the way that I liked them, so... Um, let's start off. There's about 40 here. These aren't all of them. I didn't, I don't, you know, I don't want to show all of them because it's going to take a long time. So these are kind of some of the highlights, what I think are the best. So let's start off with Little Anthony and the Imperials. This is a nice compilation on roulette. And I'll let you know if, they, if uh, any of these were more than a dollar. And then we have the Flamingos with Serenade. Wow, that was a find. It's got a, got a little bit of corner wear up there, as you can see, but this is an album that I never thought I would own, so great 50s doo-wop at its finest right there. Next up, we have Waylon Jennings' Greatest Hits, and this is on the Orange RCA. So this is his, um, his 60s material, um, late 70s, but not late 70s, late 60s, I mean, on that one. And this is uh, the Dragsters. This is kind of an instrumental album on Dot. Of some of the hits of the time. I like those uh, kind of surf ones. That's an interesting cover. So, um, yeah. And same with this one. Everybody's rocking the champs. This is an original pressing. Another one to my 50s uh, collection, which I'm so happy to, to keep building on. Next up. This was cool. I've never seen this. The Dixie Cups. This one's got Chapel of Love on it, and it's on uh, Red Bird. See, I couldn't believe these were a dollar and all in sleeves. So, I don't know. Sometimes you just get lucky at these record shows, and I wouldn't have thought it would have been there. But for me, these are these might not be amazing to you, but to me, these are Frankie Avalon. It's an original. Next up, we've got. Look at us, Sunny and Cher didn't have this one. Mono pressing. And next up, this is crazy for a dollar. Richie Valens debut album. This is a US pressing too on Delphi. It's in good condition too. It plays real nice. And this was something I bought yesterday, so this is a non record um, show find. This is Elvis fifty six and a killer compilation. This is a gatefold. And a European pressing from 2014. Um, it originally came out in 1998, so the year I was born. What a great year. And uh, <laughs> next up, we have Brian Highland on uh, Uni, later won by him. He was pretty famous in the 60s for, for songs like Sealed with a Kiss. And here we go, Santo and Johnny Around the World. Shrink's kind of messy on it, but it's still on there. Canadian American, and see, he put them, he put them even in the back of the sleeves like I do. So, love that. Protects the album. So, Louis Armstrong. This is a nice UK pressing on Brunswick. It's a live album from 1955, I think. Next up, we've got two albums here by a cool artist who sings some cool like American folk songs he wrote Battle of New Orleans with uh, uh, Johnny Horton and this is Jimmy Driftwood if you ever see any of his albums I definitely recommend you pick them up these are both on the RCA um, nipper label from 1960 and I'm hoping to find more of his albums too soon and uh, next up uh, was a little bit of a uh, crazy find find two copies of it as well <laughs> Um, I've never seen this album before. Rockin' Robin with Bobby Day. And uh, that was pretty nuts to find two copies of that. Um, they both have some wear on them, but... Of course, the title track, Rockin' Robin, is a classic 50s song. Later done by, you know, Michael Jackson and a lot of different people. Ricky Nelson. With the paper cover. That was a cool find. Definitely. Definitely stoked about that. And I'm putting these into boxes. Yeah, I had two boxes. These boxes, two of these full of records. So uh, when I walked out of there, 
and that was a little bit crazy that day, but, um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Here from 59, we have D. Clark with How About That. Never see any D. Clark out in the, uh, in the bins, so that was an awesome find. Next up, we have another really cool, uh, couple cool ones here from Nelson Riddle, great composer who did Nat King Cole and Frank Sinatra, both on the same label, which is kind of fun. It's kind of funny I'm showing two at a time, but, uh, yeah, so those were cool to add. I mean, for a buck, can't go wrong. And another one from the Champs with great dance hits. Alright. Moving on, we've got two compilations from the 50s. Rock and Roll Favorites. This one's on REO, Canadian Pressing, and this has some cool songs on it by Bo Diddley and stuff. And then we have Having a Ball. This is on quality. So this is on end in the U.S. And this has like Bo Diddley and Little Anthony on it and stuff. So that was really, really neat to find those. Um, next up, another two copies. As you notice, the covers are different. And I already had uh, actually a 1959 pressing of this. So now I have the 56, the 60, and the 59. So I'll show you. Um, this is a great album, Hank Williams with Honky Tonkin. So uh, this one here is the 60, 1960 pressing, I think. Let me check. Yeah, so that's the 1960 uh, pressing. Wait, one second. I just want to make sure. Oops. Yeah. I don't show the labels enough, hey? <laughs> I don't know how many people want to see the label, so. And then this is the 56 pressing on the yellow MGM. One of my favorite labels. I love that one. And I love that album, also. Alright, let's just bring the stack up. Much easier. Here we go. Last little bit here. Some from George Jones, one of my favorite artists. This is a double the George Jones uh, story. On, in Canada, we have George Jones on Columbia, and on, in the States, of course, on Musicore. Another one, a weird cover, but George Jones on UniArt. So I think it's uh, kind of a budget of uh, United Artists. Here's an original. This is uh, his kind of album of Hank Williams songs, so that was cool. 1962, if I'm not mistaken, on that one. And then we go to a Canadian artist who had a big hit in the late 80s, a couple big hits actually, and this is Alana Miles, and she is great, kind of a bluesy rock singer. If you've never checked her out, listen to her song uh, Black Velvet off of this album, and that's on Atlantic. And then we got a 90s country find, which I never happens to me. So here we've got Travis Tritt with Country Club, and also a club pressing, ironically, on Warner. That was cool. For ten dollars, that one was a little bit more expensive, but whatever, worth it. And then we have Neil Sedaka and the Tokens, kind of a compilation, but love both those groups. So, and then I ran into a couple um, '80s pressings of '50s albums that are hard to find. So this is Otis Williams and the Champs, and uh, this is a pretty hard album to find. So that was cool to have an '80s pressing. And I do have a couple different versions of this one. I have an original, but th that's uh, it's one I don't play often because of its rarity. And this is the Five Satin Sing, 80s pressing on collectibles. And then we have the Spaniels, another 80s pressing. And this is a group you never see on vinyl, so I really couldn't pass that up. This was uh, This was a little bit more expensive as well. This is Bob Marley and the Whalers with Burnin. Ironically, not ironically, I'm wearing a Bob shirt. And uh, this is a Jamaican pressing on Tough Gong. Great shape. And to find that in Canada is pretty crazy because I never see those. And then this was really cool. This is a Japanese pressing from 1988. 
of Little Anthony. Now, these didn't come with an OB strip, which is weird, but they do have an insert. So that was really nice. I never find any Japanese pressings. And it, and um, considering it's one of my favorite groups, then that was even better. So now we have a mono upgrade of Johnny Cash, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Cool one on Columbia. And this was really neat. This is uh, Herbie Mann. Kind of some jazz, cool jazz. So uh, I'll take some of that once in a while. This is the, another one from the Champs. And we're getting down to the to the thin of it here. Oh, this was a really cool one. Look at that. Look at this. This is a Frankie Avalon album, who I love. And this cover is like velvet. And then inside is the picture, and then there's the record. Super neat packaging for its time from 62. Now this was a score. This was uh, Now we're getting down to the, to the last of it. These are some cool stuff. Jim Reeves' second album. Now this is weird because um, the label is German. The cover is U.S. It's not a German cover. So um, I'm not sure if somebody in the army had this because that that did happen once in a while, like um, in the army or. Um, who knows? It's kind of weird, but it's a pretty rare album, so nonetheless, I was stoked to own that. And an even more rare album, we have the Apple Jacks on London. Um, cover's got some wear, of course, but um, for me, that was really neat to have. And they're a British group, but I think this album was only released in Canada. Um, like only North American release otherwise it was released in the UK and stuff this is a cool another no, another one of those Japanese pressings um, Jerry Butler kind of a guitarist soul kind of guy so that was cool that one's from 88 and then here's a here's a real cool one guys traffic reaping on island now that was a score for a dollar. I don't know how that happened, but of course Stevie Winwood's in the group. And you probably know this album and its rarity, so that was insane to find. Um, last find here to show. It's an album I already had, but this is a different pressing, so you know how how much of an addict you are when you have the album. But just because it's a different pressing, you're going to keep it. So uh, this is Ray Charles. This is a series I love picking up, as you guys probably know. As I've said in some of my other videos, this is the Atlantic 8000 series. Um, 1957, this is his second album, but this is a big one. Um, his first album was called The Great Ray Charles, and it was an instrumental. So this is his first um, one where he rocks out and sings on it and does I Got a Woman. Um, Hallelujah, I Love Her So. Just some killer, killer tracks. Mess Around. So if you've never heard this album, you definitely need to go pick it up, find it somewhere, order it. This is one of the greatest albums I've heard, and I love that album. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video wasn't too long, and I hope everybody's doing well. I'm still around. I'm still watching your guys' uh, videos, comment, um, trying to comment where I can, not as much as I used to. Um, yeah, so that's it for me, guys, and I'll be... Uh, be in touch in the next couple of weeks or something. I'm busy and I don't know um, when the next time I'm get picking up vinyl is because after this haul, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's it, VC. I hope everybody's doing well. Once again, uh, take care. Have a good one.